Aloha guys, my name is Chef Adam Gilbert. Welcome to Kids Cooking Local. Um, I represent Plantation Tavern, Hawaii Produce CSA Cookbook, and a company called Vinaigrette. Come on this journey today, we're gonna cook some local food. For our first dish we're gonna be making is a penne pasta with edamame pesto, some toasted almonds, and some chiffonade of basil. Um, so let's, let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna boil some water. I started it already, so. I'm just gonna put a pinch of salt, two pinches of salt in the water to season it. What we're making here is pasta with edamame pesto. So you can pick any pasta you want, um, a wheat pasta, a spaghetti noodle, whatever you have at home is fine. I'm gonna use penne because I think the sauce will get into the tubes really well and it'll just like coat the pasta better. Um, but really you can use whatever you want. Um, we have some olive oil, some almonds we're gonna toast up, some edamame, some local basil from Kahumana Farm, and some garlic. Let's get going. So I'm gonna put the pasta in uh, for about 10 minutes. Give it a quick stir so it doesn't stick. I'm gonna turn my pan on so I can toast my almonds. I'm just using a non-stick pan. I got raw almonds that are pre-sliced, just a package. I can control how toasty they are by doing this, right? So, dry pan, no oil, just almonds. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt. And just roast them till they're toasted a little bit brown. So the pesto is quite simple. Um, we're gonna put everything in our blender, turn it on, grind it. When the pasta's done, toss it all together. And put a couple of garnishes, maybe a few of the edamame beans and some of the toasted almonds on top. Um, so first we have our garlic. I'm just going to slice it so the machine doesn't have to work too hard. And keeps life easy for a cleanup, really. So just a little rough chop there. I'll scoop it up, put it in my blender. My basil, I don't want to use the, the stems, so I'm just going to pick the leaves off. And quite simply, just kind of pull down. And at the tip, just pick them out. So most of the produce I procure comes from Kahumata Farms, an organic farm in the back of Waianae Valley. Um, they have an online market and a food hub, uh, and does, they do a great job with um, farm to table, organic, local product. I got a cup of basil here, but again, if you have mint, cilantro, use whatever you have. Don't go to the grocery store if you don't have to. If you got it grown in your yard, use it. Um, it's about using as much local ingredients as possible. I'm just gonna do a quick rough chop again. This is about a cup of basil. And I'm gonna use about a cup of edamame beans. Put them in there. And I'm gonna put some salt and some pepper. This is to taste, so you can use what, what your household sees fit. And if you don't have a blender, um, you can use a pestle and mortar. Uh, if you don't have a pestle and mortar, you can use a poi slate, a poi, poi board. And really, it's just about smashing it up. I mean, use what you have. Don't. Don't feel like you got to go to the store, like I said, or get anything extra. <coughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to put about a cup of, I have olive oil here. You can use extra virgin olive oil. Um, you can use canola oil. I, I prefer olive oil. It's definitely better for you. Um, but I'm going to put about a cup of olive oil in there. And then start it up. You can see it's having a little bit of a hard time. So I'm gonna add more oil. You're better off starting with less though and then slowly adding more. Because if you add um, too much at one time, it's difficult to go backwards. All right, so um, let's check our pasta before I finish my pesto. Just about done. I'm going to shut it off. 
and I'm going to strain it out over here, over a sink. I'm just going to leave it in the um, strainer for now in a pot and just put it on a, a cold burner. Our almonds are toasted nice, okay. So let's, uh, let's add a little bit more oil to this pesto and give it a taste. Always use a spoon. Don't stick your fingers in all your food. It's good. It needs a little bit more salt and a little bit more pepper. It's a fun recipe, easy to do. You can add protein to it. You can add grilled chicken, slice it thin, toss it on the dish, or um, a sausage or fish. It's pretty. Um, uh, universal, it can go, the, the flavor profile can go with a lot of different uh, foods. All right, so here we got our pasta. Looking good. We're going to put it in the bowl here. And we're going to toss our pesto, our um, edamame pesto. You can use as much sauce as you choose. Um, really, it's, again, it's, it's, it's up to you. And then just mix it well. Simple, light dish, like I said, local ingredients, fun to make, easy to make, and you can uh, incorporate a lot of other things, and proteins, chicken, fish. It smells great. I'm gonna grab a plate here. Get some out. And we're going to put a little bit of uh, edamame over the top as a garnish. Maybe some of this basil because it's in there as well. If you do garnish, you should use the ingredients in the dish. You shouldn't uh, use outside elements. I'm going to chiffonade. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay each layer of basil flat upon itself and then do a little cigar roll to it and then you have this uh, little cigar roll of basil you can see and then i'm just going to slice it thin again this is an extra step and it's not quite necessary but it looks nice and the difference between a, a five dollar dish and a six dollar dish <laughs> and just sprinkle it around the plate and over the top and last but not least we're going to put our toasted almonds on the top there, just to give it a little more texture and flavor. And that's it. Hi, Chef. My name is Jonathan. I was wondering if you could switch to edamame with anything else. Yeah, you totally can. Um, I would, I, kale, kale's a good one. Um, you can use bok choy, you can use anything. You can use any beet top, carrot top. Um, I make a carrot top pesto often. Actually, it's in my cookbook. Um, but yeah, you can substitute it with anything, really. I was wondering if you could switch to extra virgin olive oil with any other oil. Definitely, definitely. Um, I prefer olive oil. Um, canola oil is, is, is a little bit vegetable oil. So it's a lot more processed, right? Um, Extra virgin olive oil, though, is, is very expensive, so olive oil works, and you can use canola oil, uh, but it's, I would stick with olive oil. I was wondering if you could use the unused pesto again? Yes, definitely. This will last in your fridge for at least seven days, and you can utilize it. You can marinate chicken with it. You can use it on salad. You can mix it with really anything. It's very versatile. Uh, it can be used on, on many, many applications, fish, chicken. Sometimes local produce could be like really expensive. Is there a way to get like cheap ones? There is actually. Um, go to your food hubs. Food hubs are a super important part of our community. Uh, if you go through the food hubs, a lot of them like Kahumana Farm, Food Hub has Oahu Fresh, uh, Farm Link. They all have basically online markets. And through them, you can get produce, local produce at discounted rates and support local as much as you can. It's, it's necessary. The more we buy as a community, the cheaper it will get in the long run. 
you know, we're an island in the middle of the Pacific. We need to support our local food base and food hubs as much as humanly possible because without uh, sustainability, I mean, we're, we're, we're nine days boat ride from the nearest food source. Uh, so we, we all should be doing our part to buy local. Thank you so much for having me today. Um, please enjoy the dish we made together. My name's Chef Adam Gilbert. Um, and thank you for coming along for the ride. I look forward to cooking with you again real soon and take care.